right, guys, we're going to get the reading going today for Capricorn. We're going to see what's going on. Thank you to everyone who's liked, commented, subscribed. This is just going to be a quick bonus reading for you guys. You were my most viewed reading for my first video ever on this channel, which blows me away, which is why you guys are going to get this bonus reading. If you guys are not a Capricorn, please check out this channel or my Pisces only channel down below. I will be going to a full regular schedule schedule with this channel. I think it's the second week of January. All right, let's get it. What does Capricorn got going on in the current moment? The past for Capricorn. Okay. Near future for Capricorn. Interesting. You guys could have here in the near future an apology coming in, someone that's feeling left out. It could be a family member, friend, something like that. Someone that's wanting to go out and celebrate with you, but we're going to dig more into that. What does Capricorn not see? What does Capricorn not see at the moment? Okay. What does the universe want Capricorn to know? To get out of your head. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Capricorn, I'm getting this energy. There's a lot you don't know. There's a lot going on in your life, in your environment, your choices. Just, it's like a lot's up in the air. And that could overwhelm you. Let's get hopes and fears. Capricorn, hopes and fears. Interesting. Um, future possible outcome for you, Capricorn, coming in. Future outcome. Interesting. Hmm. See, again, the moon on the bottom. Something's fisting to happen, Capricorn. So, current moment, you're having a lot of change and transformation. This could have to do with a soulmate, someone that you felt like was a soulmate. So, you guys could be leaving someone. Your dynamic or connection could have changed here recently. Something of that sort. But I'm seeing a lot of change and transformation in your current moment. I feel like your, it's like your life is getting more to a more pure energy something it's like you're going back to where you're supposed to be anything that you have held on to and it, it's time to be let go of it, it's officially being let go of current moment yeah six of water you guys could also be remi reminiscing a lot on your past what's happened I'm getting a little bit of sad energy, just really thinking about how much has changed, thinking about the past, having a lot of nostalgic energy. There, I am keep getting the moon. So there's a lot that's unknown. There's a lot that's unclear. There could be some illusions. Interesting. So in your past, there was a time, <clears throat> Capricorn, where you took a break. You rested. You reflected. You could have definitely got some truths that you were needing. Yeah. For some of you, you could have definitely focused on self-care here in the past. Really focused on yourself. Took a step back from maybe a mother figure. Someone who you look up to. Yeah. Guys, I'm also seeing here in the past that you could have felt stuck. Very stuck about what your future now looks like. Where are you going? What do you see for your future? Which is why you needed to take a step back. Really get back your own power in your own energy. Rest. Again, get a lot of clarity that you, were, that you were missing, that you were needing. Some of you guys could have actually been healing some sort of heartbreak, loss. Again, healing a lot of this change and transformation. Something that could have happened unexpected for you. 16 could be significant. This could have been 16 weeks ago, 16 months ago. I feel like it's really hard for you to let go of the past. That's really what I'm getting. And there's a guarded energy of wanting to hold on to how things used to be, how things were, the way that you used to be, and still wanting to hold on to that and not wanting to let things go. That's kind of what I get that your past was. But again, I feel like there's an energy here of you healing and going to, I feel like you're going to a better energy, Capricorn. So, in your near future, you have an apology or some light-hearted, sweet communication coming in from someone who's feeling left out or lack. Yeah, but you're going to be going back and forth on whether or not you're going to want to invest with this person. Temptation, you could feel like this person's no good. They're toxic. They don't have good intentions. This person could overwhelm you as well. So, that's coming in in your near future. So, be careful, Capricorn. 
what Capricorn does not see, you're going to have a path here that you're going to have to choose. I just heard if you're patient, they will bring clarity on the path that you're needing to choose. It's not going to be the one that seems the easiest is kind of what I'm getting. But remember to stay grounded. Stay very grounded and practical in this choice. That's really what I'm getting. <clears throat> what Capricorn does not see. So you're definitely going to have a, yeah. And you could need to take a step back again. Get present, get grounded before you choose a path. This could have to do with your stability, your foundation. This could have to do with your money, guys, if you're wanting to move, if you're wanting to sell a home, a car, if you're wanting to buy something. It's like taking a step back. Yeah, three of air. So something's just going to happen, Capricorn, here in your near future where you're going to have to choose a path. You're going to need to take a step back, rest, reflect. Try to get some clarity to help you choose that path. The path that seems easiest to you could be the wrong choice or not the right choice for you. I don't want to say the wrong choice, but not the right choice for you. They're going to give you the clarity that you need. For a lot of you guys, this has to do with your stability, whether you're wanting to move. I just heard downgrade. Some of you guys could want to downgrade from like a four-bedroom home to a one-bedroom. Some of you guys could be like, okay, I'm ready to get rid of this vehicle. I don't want to, but it's time something here. I do see a lot of sadness and disappointing energy though. So I feel like it's going to be very hard for you to make this choice. For some of you guys, choices could be hard. It could be hard having patience, realizing that time isn't your enemy. It's working for you, not against you. And as I said that, I went straight to the nine of pentacles. So it's telling me Capricorn that you are fine where you're at. All the effort and the work and the rewards that you give to other and you put into the universe is going to come back to you. Remember that. So try not to look at your glass half empty. Try not to get too bored or discontent with the opportunities that the universe is bringing you because there is a reason that they're giving you this path. They're, they're giving you this path because you wanted a change. It was time for a change. It was time for you to make a decision. So what the universe wants you to know is that it's time for you to get out of your head. You are holding yourself back or you seem like you're bound and you're not. Something unexpected is going to happen here. Where you're going to have to possibly walk away from something and show yourself some love. And again, it could be unexpected. So Capricorn, what I'm getting is that the universe wants you to know that you don't need to be so hard on yourself. It's time for you to walk away from always being in your head, always overthinking, always seeing things half empty, thinking things aren't going to work out, and realize that change and transformation is for you to get you to where you really want to go or those things that you dream about. Because the things that you envy of other people, you can have. You just have to see that it's possible for you. That's kind of what I get. Showing yourself some self-love. So with hopes and fears, Capricorn, I'm getting that you're hoping that things are going to move forward. You're wanting some sort of passion in your, in your life. You're wanting a new spark, I feel. You're wanting to take a lot of action, go out, have fun. But it's like you're wanting to move really quickly from an ending. And I feel like they're, again, wanting you to heal. And remember that the future you want, you are able to make happen. But Rome wasn't built in a day. In a day. Yeah. I feel like you're also scared, again, of what your future could hold for some of you because there is a lot of unknown with all this change and transformation. Now, for each of you, it's going to be things different. It's going to be something different, but I do feel like it's like one thing after another after another where it's like, well, I got to let this go now. Well, that no longer works now. And it's like, well, I can't even keep anything in my fingers at this point. Everything's jello. And you're just ready to get past the season. You're ready for things to move forward. And I feel like you truly, truly hope that. But there is such thing as moving too fast. Building a, a unstable foundation. Okay, and then a possible outcome. I see someone taking a leap, taking a risk. Again, something unexpected is going to happen for you, Capricorn. And you're going to either walk away. It looks like you could be walking to some sort of collaboration with someone. So for each of you, it's going to be different. Yeah, but that's what I'm getting. Somebody could be coming in and trying to help you out of love when something crumbles here or something of that sort. But I do get that there will be a leap here that's going to have to be taken. And Capricorn, the leap is going to have to be you finding a different approach to whatever's happening to you. Find a different outlook. Realize that you're putting yourself in your own head. 
Quit trying to look at the past. Although it's okay to be nostalgic, don't get drowned in that. There is an energy here where you can go be fun and creative on your own. I see a lot of ones, a lot of people by themselves. And for some of you, that could be a worry. That could be a fear. Some of you could not like being by yourself. And there could be a back and forth energy because someone here could be feeling left out. Capricorn, this could be you. You could be feeling lonely. There could be a lot of changes recently and your friends can't hang out and your boyfriend or girlfriend, you don't got one and you're feeling really lonely. But there's an energy here again of showing yourself that love, showing yourself the stuff that you're wanting from others, taking a leap. And that leap is going to bring some sort of change or shift. Something huge is going to happen and you're going to walk towards some sort of collaboration, working together with someone, something that's going to be justice for you because you were willing to take a leap. Now, again, for each of you, it's going to be something different. So like not wanting to move. Yeah, message of bad news or a message of truth for some of you. Some of Somebody could be keeping tabs on you guys. This could be a lover wanting to come in and finally make a choice. Hey, listen, I want something with you. And you finally take a risk to collaborate and it's what you want. Someone's coming in and giving truth and clarity. For some of you, again, it could be someone coming in and saying, hey, listen, you guys have to move or this car... You need to get rid of this car. Or, I'm sorry, you can no longer work at this job. We have have we have to let so many people go. And it sucks because there's so much changing, but you're needing to realize that things are changing for you. Ch things are changing for you. Let's get a few of these for Capricorn. We're going to get a few of these for your advice, kind of what you need to know. And then we're going to wrap this up. Guys, stay tuned. If you would like to see the upcoming videos, we're going to be digging into your person's feelings. In the next few months, twin flame readings, your persons. I want to do singles. I want to do who's watching you. We're going to do all kinds. All right, Capricorn. Give Capricorn a few cards, universe. Make sure you save your money. Your future self will thank you. So, again, something unexpected could definitely be happening here in your near future where you're going to feel lacked. You're being tested. Your strength is being tested. I'm also getting, if you if you need to ask for help, ask for help. Yeah, new car, new home. See, that's what I was picking up on. Some of you guys could definitely be getting a new car or a new home or having to let something go. But think smarter, not harder. Again, don't make it hard on yourself. Don't dread the change. Get out of your head. Get get out of your head. That's really what I get. I don't, I, I'm getting a lot of overthinking. Like, well, what if this happens? Well, what if this happens? Well, what if this happens? Well, what if it don't? What if it don't? That's what I get. One more for Capricorn. One more. Taking a step back, Capricorn, I feel like definitely is going to help you. When in doubt, take a step out. That's what I get. What I just, look, lighten up. Lighten up. Life isn't as serious as, it, as we tend to make it as humans. There could definitely be someone you're needing to forgive Capricorn, or you could be showing forgiveness. Yeah, there's there's something here where you're needing to leave the past behind. You're needing to lighten up, see things for for what you're what you have, see your blessings. Because again, I am picking up a little bit of a pessimistic attitude. It's like remembering that everything that you see that other people have. I don't care if you're 75 years old. If you see other people have it, you are absolutely capable of getting that. If you believe you're capable. If you don't believe you're capable, nobody else is going to believe it. And why would you get it? That's really what I get. It's time for you, Capricorn, to leave things behind. To realize that the change and transformation coming is for you. It's not happening to hurt you. It's happening in your favor. To bring the life that you dream of in your head. If it's going out shopping with family or going on vacations or having a, a newer car. I mean, whatever it is that you sit there and you vision about that you dream of, there's a reason you vision that. There's a reason you dream it. And it's because these, it's these little clips of what's actually possible if you're willing to press yourself and see what your capabilities are. Be willing to go with the change. Go with the flow. Be willing to do the thing that scares you the most. Because the thing that scares you the most is usually the thing that's going to pay off the most. All right, Capricorn. We're going to leave that here for today. I hope you have a blessed day.